the people who've had the most influence on me, the teachers are Victoria Frumpkin and John Aller, both of whom were on the faculty when I was a student at UCLA. And to explain why they were so influential, I have to give you a little bit of background. I have this idea, <clears throat> a lot of people do, that we all have our own special talent. We're all good at something. Happiness consists of finding out what our talent is and being able to follow up on it. Your special interest. It took me a long, long time to figure out what it was. And after I found that out, I was pretty much okay. School is a place that helps you find out what your talent is and what your path in life is going to be. Classes work when they help you do that. Victoria Frumpkin and John Uller helped me do that. <clears throat> in both of their classes, they invited us in. They invited us into their world and let us be part of the same club. <clears throat> in fact, with Victoria Frumpkin, it didn't happen in a class. There was a room in the building in the humanities at UCLA called the Linguistics Reading Room. And I used to study it there. That's where the journals were. And another colleague of mine, another student, Susan Curtis, was there too. Vicki Frumpkin's office was right next door. One day she comes storming in, thrilled. She said, guess what? I just talked to the head of Children's Hospital and we had this fabulous conversation. This is the first part of letting us into her world. I want to tell you what it was about. It was about this isolated child, Jeannie, the victim of incredible parental cruelty, was basically stuck alone in a room until she was a pre-teenager. We, so we talked about it. She, Vicky, and I, it's always Vicky, by the way, Vicky and I and Susie Curtis talked to Susie to Victoria Frumpkin about it for about 30 minutes. Vicky called Children's Hospital back. We all three were in the conversation. We were then on the research project. We co-authored papers. Susie Curtis wrote a book about it. It was wonderful. We exchanged ideas. We made progress. And at every moment, we were partners. Vicki invited us into her world. And we stayed in her world as partners in it. I think the goal of education is to help you find out what you're good at, what you're supposed to be doing. The human race is better off this way. John Aller did much the same thing with me. He was my professor in the Department of Applied Linguistics. And John would, like Vicky, be enthusiastic. He'd say, Steve, what, guess what? He's always that. Steve, what, guess what I just figured out? And he'd show me an equation and he would be excited about it. And when I did good work, he was excited about it as I was. I have, I'm still buddies with John Aller and we're still talking about our work together. Basically what both of them did is they invited me in to the Scholars Club, which is, I think, essential in intellectual success. That's why I like these two people. Well, Victor, Vicky passed away so a few years ago. John is still with us, and we have the same relationship. Thanks for asking me.